what's up everyone uh, okay what's going on right now I still have my thing oh yeah in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, build a very easy no redstone villager raid farm super simple all you need is a lot of blocks um, some signs water you can design it however the hell you want you don't really need too much it's basically all you need and you're gonna need four of these I only have three but don't don't mind that one there's you're gonna need four they're each placed about 46 blocks 46 blocks from there the uh, uh, raids like to spawn far away they don't like to spawn close and inside the middle of the ocean obviously so there's no spawns anywhere else you need to do this this is for bedrock I've tried to put it in the outpost and it just doesn't work so because they spawn too far and they eventually just they don't make it to the village they don't even care about the village sometimes it's ridiculous but this is all you need is an 11 by 12 so let me count. I think this is the 12. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is the 11. Then you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Nine. Okay, maybe it's 13. 2, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay, I guess it's 11 by 13. This one may be just a little bit bigger, but the bigger the better more room for them to spawn uh... i have a twenty you need to go up twenty high so they don't spawn on the edges because they will spawn here it doesn't matter if there's half slabs or not they'll spawn on anything so if you go twenty high they won't spawn up here half slabs or nothing else light levels you need it high enough so other mobs don't spawn the raids don't really care about light levels and they will spawn in water if it's has a block below it so you they'll spawn here they'll just get pushed and they'll, they're not gonna fall in lava they'll go uh, since you have witches you need fall damage so just make them fall really far 32 blocks you can either have it three high but I've tested out two high and I think it's a little bit better let me go to the two high one because the three high ones the witches kind of float and it doesn't really work they kind of die faster with the two high, so I recommend just doing the two high lava. What's wrong with my keyboard? Okay, so it's just two rows of signs with lava and some slabs. The slabs are so they don't float up, and if they spawn on here, sometimes they spawn on top, they just fall in anyway. They eventually walk in. And to not break this farm, don't. If there's any mobs in any of these rooms, it, it'll break the farm. Because the. The raids are basically looking for places to spawn, and it's these things are so sensitive that if there's a mob in there, it'll your raid will get canceled. I don't have. Let me see. I can show you an example. This is pretty much the end of the video. I gave you the distance, the size. Honestly, if you don't know how to build this by looking at it, it's not. There's no. I'm not hiding anything. There's no redstone. They're going to fall down. I'm in creative, so I'm not going to build the falling chamber, but they'll fall down, die, get collected to hopper chest, and that'll be no redstone, or you can add redstone and wire them up over here somehow. There's lots of ways you can do that. But this is all it is. The slab's on top. And let me show you. Oh, and to reset, just destroy the, bit, uh, the bed if you didn't know. Now well, that's the end of this video. The rest is just going to be I'll show you the raid going off. So, yeah, let's go. I'm going to do no editing this video cuz my I don't know what's wrong with my computer. Uh uh oh, they spawned right there. They're already dead though. That was wave 1. <laughs> Missed it. Mhm. Mm so far it's 100 percent by the way if you're wondering the percent hundred they spawned over there you can see they spawn on top of the half slabs give it a second they'll walk 
There, see, they walk right into the water. Oh, this could be a smooth run. The witches are the only thing right now that messes up my runs because I have lava on the bottom and they don't really care. But, uh, it was, uh, two? Is there wrong with three? Hey. Uh, this one I have to manually kill because it's not set up. I didn't set this one up. But I'm going to possibly try to have iron golems here. If I feel like it, they're going to try to have iron golems kill these guys because I like to make things difficult. And I love to have a little, always have an iron golem kill everything. Yeah. This should be just like all the other ones. But right now I just have them being pushed here where I would have some iron golems. Just for fun. That was wave 3, we're on wave 4. And I'm going to break the bed after the wave spawns. Because wave 5 will automatically cancel it. And then they spawn over there. Then you destroy the bed to reset everything. And that's it for this video. I will see you guys later. See that is why the 2 block is better than the 3 block. So just do two blocks. If you made it to the end of this video, well, there's some suffering saved. Do two blocks. I'm gonna show you. You know what? Video's not over yet. I think I have witches right here. Cause that was the three blocks, and some reason they get stuck in that weird position. But with the two block, yeah, they're fine. Oh, that guy's getting blocked by other witches. Yeah, so definitely do two blocks. You're lucky if you made it to this video. You see, the problem is solved with two blocks. Three blocks does not work. And I'll catch you guys later. Hope you use this farm. I hope, I hope, dude, this farm is awesome. Like, you can, you can, I keep saying the video, video's over, but it's never up. But I'm going to tell you something else if you didn't know. And you, people are even still listening to this far in the video. That, uh, during the raids they drop enchanted books and enchanted armor and tools as you can see but I think it's iron so the books are what you really want to go for so this technically is a book farm in a way alright this is a for real piece I'm done goodbye adios